Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dora Tapalitska International, nail artist and educator here. And today we are going to create a really beautiful wintry design. And this is going to be a crazy character, Olaf. You can have a look at him in here. Yes, so a cute snowman, which everyone knows. <laughs> I actually used to watch this um, movies with my daughter as well. Uh, I think all the parents do it, especially in a Christmassy, wintery time. But well, let's start doing this uh, beautiful design. And if you're new in here, hit the subscribe button to see lots of more great tutorials on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And if you're an existing subscriber, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this design. Let's start! <laughs> So we are going to paint a cute frozen Olaf and uh, I'll be using the Color Plus gel, some foil design gel, paint on French gels and all the colors which we are going to need. So I'm just taking on my mixing palette the colors and that's definitely plenty of the white uh, because obviously it is a snowman. So I'm just taking some white. Some nice blue and actually quite a lot of blue as well because we will use it for the background as well. We want the Olaf to stand in a frozen part and I will start painting those background first and then once it's curing as uh, is going to I'm going to pick up more colors. So I'm just took some blue mixed with the white and we are going to do like a frozen lick. Uh, which is going to be up to there. And what you really want to do is just do those couple of the strokes of the brush, just so you can see all those different colors coming through. So it does look like a real lick. Okay, so nice strokes of the brush. And this way we have created uh, part of the background. Okay, on the back of it we are going to have some snow. So I'm just going to paint some snow. And again, I want to have those tiny wee parts of the blues going through it as well. And right on the top there is going to be a sky. So again, blue. So it's a kind of like a blue tip uh, almost all over, but just with the different shadows and different colors. Okay, so we've got the background. Let me do the snow part, like another maybe bigger mountain or something behind it. Okay, so after creating those kind of background, I'm going to uh, put it inside the lamp and give it a cure. And now I've got some time to prepare the rest of the colors which we are going to need. So I'm just cleaning my brush and taking a drop of the black. Because we are going to need for his hands and for the buttons, <laughs> for the eyes. Okay. And we are also going to need some red and yellow to create the carrot. <laughs> so I'm mixing my red and yellow to create some nice orangey color. But I want to have a different kind of shadows through it as well. So I can straight away mix it into nice orange. Now my tip is cured, so I can start painting Olaf. And we are going to um, start with the biggest part, which is the bottom part. Which is going to be just in here. 
So a decent size. Belly. <laughs> of our snowman. Using the largest brush, like for those type of designs, is much quicker than playing with the small brushes. The small brushes we are going to use for the details when we finish the design. Okay, so this is our first bowl. Then the second one, which is just on the top. So he's a bit squished, like they are not uh, nice and rounded balls, they're a bit squished. And he's doing funny poses, <laughs> so don't place them too straight. Okay, we also want to paint uh, one leg, which is on the bottom. And then another leg, which is just almost kind of lifted up. Okay, so you can see it like he's almost standing on the one one feet taking funny poses <laughs> and now it's the time to his um, face like the head part which is going to be much bigger as well so the best and the easiest way to paint it is kind of like and do a wee triangle this is going to be a neck Then a big cheeks. And you can also see where the face is going to be as well. And then on top of those triangle, we are going to paint the rounded shape. Now just make everything a little bit bigger. So I'm always careful when painting the designs like because I want to make sure like when we're painting on such a small surface like a Niels, we want to make sure we will be able to manage to squeeze all the part of the design we want to put in there. And it's not an easy task on painting such a small surface. just touch up the shapes and then once this background is done I'm going to cure it okay and then once it's cured we can take it out and paint the next part of our design and this is a time when I can swap for a much smaller brush because what we want to do is we want to paint some buttons and this is like a charcoal with stones, so he has two of them. Make them really irregular like shape. So we've got one and we've got the second one. And then one more, just nicely right in the middle. Okay, and now we are going to paint some of his hands. So mix an orange with the black. And paint those hands. Okay, 
So it's not going to be like a straight piece of wood, like it is all wobbly and different shades. Very little product on your brush, just at the end to paint his fingers. And they've got like a kind of um, bulky place. And another finger. Really, really tiny detail. Okay, so we've got the first handmade. And now we are going to paint a part of the next one. It's not going to be fully visible, the second one. Okay, so just a part of it. And again, make it a uh, kind of like a different colors, uh, different shades. Now we need to also paint his face. So I'm just taking some black and I'm indicating where his huge smile is going to be. So it's almost half of the face the smile is taking. But we need to remember about those huge teeth as well. So I'm just going to paint it around it. So we've got those big teeth in there as well. Make the smile even bigger. Okay, just above the smile, we can start painting the carrot nose. So I'm picking up my orange. like a blob of it okay so we've got our nose I'm going to give it a flash here and then after the flash cure we are going to move on into the eyes. So what you want to do is two dots first okay so I have just picked up the product and I'm going to paint one dot And then second dot. So they really decent sized dots. Right on his head, he've got some pieces of the wood as well. And that's what we are going to paint. Like make them really nice and thin. and freeze it. We also need to add a little bit of the shadow to his body. So I've got a drop of the top coat and we are using the Soak of Top Gel. With the hint of the blue. 
and a black. So those kind of color and then top coat over it. When we paint in the shadows, we really want to have like hardly any product. So there's more top coat than the product. Here we need to do this shadow and this way the legs are going to look better as well. So basically you're just kind of making your white a little bit dirty. Okay, and the one which is above it, we're just exactly the same. We want to give a little bit of the shadow as well on his legs, so just a tiny one and a tiny one. And a bit of the shadow where the stones are, the buttons. <laughs> And where his neck is. So a drop of the black into the top coat again. Like very little color. I have put a little bit too much of the color, so I'm using the top coat to fade it a bit nicer. Tiny bit of the black. You can mix it with the top coat as well, like just, um, just so everything is more delicate. Because that's the place where his neck is. Fading with the top coat is really uh, gives a really nice and, and great results. Now, once I'm happy with it, I'm going to freeze it. So you can see the shadow underneath of the neck came out really, really nice. Okay, once you give it a freeze, you can move on into the next part. So I'm just going to uh, paint a couple of the trees on the back. So I've got blue mixed with the black. I'm just going to paint like a wee kind of tree. And the tree is on the background, so it don't need to be like a properly painted tree. Just like a wee shadows of it. Lots of lots of lines. Okay, so some places you can see they are kind of bluish. And some places are black, and then we will add snow on top of it. 
we've got one tree we may paint another one just in here so exactly the same lots of lots of lots of lots of lines And then give it a flash cure. Now I'm going to clean my brush and we're going to add the detail to the eyes and to his face. So around the black we've got some white. And he's got really funny looking eyes. Eyebrows. So a drop of the black. And just so it's not strong, mix it with the brown which you have created. And they just like a kind of straight line coming down, straight line coming down. Okay, so the eyebrows are done. Now I'm going to give it a flash cure. We have to add the snow into the trees. Okay, we are going to add the snow. So just a tiny wee dots-ish. So this way the trees are going to look much more nicer. And the one which is on the top. Okay, so we've got some snow. Now we want to finish the detail on his face. So I've got the top coat and a black. Like hardly any product on my brush. And adding the detail around the eyes. We are painting so small, uh, so small detail, but you have to be very, very careful. The best tip I can give you, hold your breath. And now I shall eyelid, so I'm just going to do a touch of the line. Just so this place is a little bit thicker. <clears throat> I'm going to flash cure it because that's the detail which you don't want to have uh, damage. And then top coat in my black, lots of top coat. And we need to add the kind of 3D definition to his face. So where he's smiling,
and just prolong that. And also just below the smile. And we wave at uh, where the chicks are. And same on the other side. Then take a top coat, clean your brush. And because this is a snow, you don't want that to be too, too strong. So having a top coat just fade that in so you still got this uh, kind of um, bend there but it's not a really strong one okay so this way this part is going to be a slightly different color same underneath it and this way we have given him some kind of dimension on his face as well you want to do that also underneath of the carrot so use the black with the drop of the red And the line is very, very tiny. Blend that in. And give it a flash cure. Okay, now I'm just going to take the white and highlight some places so this way you can see it the color difference and those kind of more 3d look Okay, just check for the final detail 
And I just want to improve his teeth a little bit. He <laughs> need the dentist. <laughs> Okay, sorry guys, that was a bit of, yeah. Now I'm not going to be able to paint it because it's such a small detail. So it really touches patches of the brush just so they kind of more look like a teeth they were a bit too rounded clean my brush and yeah I think I'm just going to cure it and that will be the the final look maybe just a wee touch on his cheek yep that's is much nicer so after I finish kind of design I would go and do the last bits and pieces uh, checking and improving the the look and then give it a cure and then we can apply the top coat So I'm going to use the high shine no wipe top gel. And that's our all of finished. <laughs> He's a cute guy. So I'm just applying the top coat. And what I love when we're painting with the gel, like the surface might be not nice and even, but once we apply the top coat, everything looks so beautiful. Okay, so that's the finished results. And I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. So that's an Olaf. <laughs> I'm just going to put him to the lamp. Yeah, and then when it's cure, I can show you the, the final results. So I hope you have really enjoyed um, watching this tutorial and that's our Olaf finished and he's he's actually really cute uh, yeah let me know down in the comments below what you think of him and how much you have enjoyed watching this tutorial if you're new in here hit the subscribe button as there is lots of uh, great tutorials coming up every Monday Wednesday and Saturdays plus some extra other days and uh, glittery hacks and bye for now